Elon and the entire Tesla team sure have been hard at work this week. Just a day after Tesla announced the new fees for parking at superchargers, Elon took to Twitter to quickly announce a slight change of policy. Fees will not actually be charged if parked at a basically deserted supercharger. Of course, the details of basically deserted are unclear, which is not surprising as we are talking about Tesla after all. And I can already see one potential small problem with this new policy. Some supercharger locations are only four spots. If three of those spots happen to have non-Teslas parked in them, blocking their use, which the mothership wouldn't know anything about, the singular Tesla that then comes and charges will not face any parking fees after the charging session is complete. It certainly isn't a significant issue, but it just goes to show that the overall issue is a bit complex and Tesla may never be able to completely address all edge cases. Tesla then updated the supercharger map with a projection into 2017. I have another video showcasing the evolution of the supercharging network. Feel free to check that out. Next, Elon was again on Twitter, suggesting that right after Christmas and before the year is out, Tesla may push an update that will enable most of the current autopilot functionality on cars equipped with Autopilot 2 hardware. It is not yet clear if this means version 8.1 with wider reaching features and improvements, or if this will be a limited rollout to just AP2 cars so they can start to enjoy the many benefits of Autopilot. Following on the heels of that tweet, new mapping data along with a software update started rolling out to all Teslas, bringing with it additional information about amenities around superchargers, the linking of driver profiles to key fobs, improved equalizer settings, and improvements to the Model X's doors. Additionally, and somewhat controversially, a limitation to existing autopilot limiting it to no more than the speed limit on any road the car deems undivided, where previously it would function up to 5 miles per hour or 10 kilometers per hour faster than the posted speed limit if the driver desired. Perhaps with just minor bug fixes, the Android Tesla app received an update today. The iOS app does not seem to be updated and thus it is unlikely any new features are awaiting Android owners. Hopefully the app has gotten more reliable as you often have to close it and reopen it to have it connect to the car. Capping off the week so far, Elon tweeted out that the Model X Christmas Easter Egg, or could that be Easter Christmas Eggnog, where three Model Xs danced to some music with blinking lights and door acrobatics, was on its way to Model X owners. It of course didn't take long for videos to emerge of owners using the Model X to help get into the holiday spirit. <laughs>